اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وقل الحمد للہ الذی لم یتخذ ولدا ولم یکل له شریک فی الملک ولم یکل له ولی من الذل وکبره تکبیرا صدق اللہ العظیم رب اشرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسان یفقہ قولی Respected viewers and listeners السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ The ayah which I have recited is from Bani Israel chapter 17 last verse triple one Allah says وَقُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي لَمْ يَتَّخِذْ وَلَدَوْمْ He is Allah God Almighty who has not begotten anyone وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ شَرِيكٌ فِي الْمُلْكِ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ وَلِيٌ مِّنَ الذُّلِّ وَكَبِّرْهُ تَكْبِيرًا Neither he has any partner who could help him. Neither he likes to share anyone in his dominion to rule. So, hence, what's the result? وَكَبِّرْهُ تَكْبِيرًا All the praises belong to him alone. That is the crux of this verse. He is beyond that. So, what's the result? وَكَبِّرْهُ تَكْبِيرًا So glorify him alone. He is the king. وَكَبِّرْهُ تَكْبِيرًا You ought to glorify him. Nobody deserves to be glorified except Allah, the true king. Chapter 17, verse triple 1. The topic is the current situation, the advancement happening regarding Russia and Ukraine and all those forecasting or predictions of World War III. I would like to share my opinionated ideas and I don't want anyone to endorse it, but this is not right to conceal the things, the grounds reality, the things which are coming like the future events cast their shadow before, it is not right to keep your eyes evaded or away from the realities. Unfortunately, the time we are living in is not very predictable. It's all these things, unprecedented situations, the dangerous ideologies, the conquering of powers, superseding of ideologies, civilizations we are facing. Before we face this coronavirus, now we have more other bigger stuff to deal. I have a plea or an urge to share my ideas, my feelings, my emotions, my excitement to my viewers and listeners that why I am excited. You see today when we open television now, especially the Western media, what they are worrying about. Even the small firework is there. Russia is attacking Ukraine. Russia invaded Ukraine. Russia invaded Ukraine. Invasion of Russia. All things they are creating like a mountain. Why? Because the interest behind all these things, United States, the United States of America, they have the interest about all these things. Now, what is all about? Why I'm sharing this? Where was the media? When Ukrainian soldiers brutally killed in Chechnya and Chechnyan Muslims, where was the media then? Where was the media? when little children were being killed in Pakistan, especially in the northern areas by the drones of United States of America, where was the media then? In Iraq, <clears throat> with the pretext of going into that because they have weapons of mass destruction, 
And now Tony Blair and Bush, they said openly in the television that we were mistaken and we apologize for that, but we didn't do Iraq. How easy way out. What about those women who were being raped, ravished by American soldiers? The documentaries are there. YouTube, you can search those videos, how they entered into the residential areas and to the civilians' homes and rape their women in front of their husbands. How can you get rid of that? How? You do whatever you want to do, it's okay. But when we do, it's not right. Something fishy. You can't run with the hare and hunting with the hounds. You are doing something fast and loose towards the Muslims. So, this is exactly what Vladimir Putin said. What justification you have when you invaded Iraq? 800 naval bases you have all around the world. Why? Why do you have? What gives you some special permission? To rule the rest of the world? Enough is enough. This is what he said. This is what his, his excitement I'm sharing with you. So he said that. Who gave you right to have 800 bases around the world? In each of the country you put the bases. You made the map of Middle East upside down. You shake it. You shook it. So badly. And you're saying that we are sorry. Tony Blair said on the video, we are sorry for what we did in Iraq. Sorry. You disturbed the, the generation of those people. You said sorry. Afghanistan. In your videos, you said that, oh, we finished Taliban. We finished this. We finished that. We won. We won because of your elections and all these presidential campaigns. They are in the government now. Right now in Afghanistan, it's a big slap on your faces. You see, that is why Americans, the Western people should understand why these all things happening. You see, the wearer knows where the shoe pinches. You cannot blame all the time people. Now, where is France? Where is Macron, the blasphemer of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu who was who was saying before that Islam is the threat Islam has a problem. Now where? What's happening now? Is Russia an Islamic nation? Why is he so quiet? Is he afraid? Is he a coward? What happened to him? You see, the value of a Muslim blood is worthless now. Nothing. The blood which is running in the veins of the Muslims has no value. The value is only in the blood of all other religions. Why? Why this intellectual hypocrisy? Why the Western media is being playing this hypocrisy? Yesterday I was looking at the news. They said that the pregnant woman was ripped off because of the bomb and the shells of shellings of these uh, Russian armies. And they are portraying every single woman. What happening to her? What about the woman of Iraq? What about the little kids of Syria? What about the little kids of uh, Libya? What about the little kids of Afghanistan, Pakistan? What happened? Where, where these people go? They have no value. Our blood is nothing. Everything is you. You have everything in the world. All the prerogatives and pleasures. You see, this is what the Newton's third law of motion. To every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction. This is the punishment for the West. The atrocities, brutalities, the injustices they did on other nations, especially to the Eastern Bloc of the half of the world. This is what happens. This is not about Muslims here. Do not blame us now. The war on terrorism. All the time you have only one sales point to sell your journalism. Now, say, we want to hear what you want to say about Russia. Uh, yesterday, I saw this, the video of uh, Vladimir Putin. He said it, that 
Why this whole thing happening? He said he, he warned these people that don't join NATO, Ukrainian people, don't join NATO because Moscow is near. Five minutes. Now you tell me how a person can, you know, tolerate this and let other nation, the opposite nation, to bring all those, you know, high kind of weapons near to the border and the capital is near to other nation. How? Who will, who will bear that? You tell me. Who allowed this in the country? So he, this is what he has, the values. He has his points, the positive points. You see, let me clear one thing. I, as a person, as a Muslim, alhamdulillah, we testified that the Prophet Muhammad is the last and the final, and he is the mercy for all of the mankind. And another pillar says, Vamar Salnaka illa rahmatan lil alameen. That Muhammad is the rahmat, mercy. You see, nobody has a right to uproot, to kill innocent people. Nobody. I am not in the favor of what's happening in Ukraine. Please mark my words. What I'm trying to say that everything has a counterpart, counter reaction. Why don't you see that this is all but like the, the harvesting, not harvesting. This is the sowing. Whatever you sow, that shall you reap of the Western people, especially the American. You see, they're living on the, on the other side of the continent. You don't know what's happening on the right side. You see, this is happening a slow. And so now, why I'm telling all this? I'm not making a blame games here. I'm telling you, this is the reason why this, that's, this is the reason which media doesn't show you. You see, America, America always do like this, you know, they always do like this. They control the media in their hands and then they try to make a hero. Who is ever the hero is a hero. Who is the evil is the evil. Muslims are being the victim of Western media for more than 40 years now. And what did we achieve? More people, more Christians, they converted into Islam. You know that? Reverted into Islam, alhamdulillah. Because they sense that, that the lies are there. They lie against Islam. And Muslims, they're becoming Muslim, alhamdulillah. Now you see, Allah says in the Quran, and even it's in the Bible. You know, when Jews came to Jesus Christ and they said to him, that Father Ibrahim, Father Ibrahim, they taunt him. 